Hello guys. I am back, with another video. In this video, we will look at the difference between loading samples in the PCM Synth and Beatbox machine. In the PCM Synth machine, you can load presets by clicking Select Instrument. And load samples by clicking on Samples. Let me load a random sample, from a random folder. So this is our sample. A Vokoto loop. Noise. So loading a sample in this machine, assign them to all keys by default, and this happens. But, this can be fixed by assigning the sample to a specific key. By long pressing root key tab. And pressing any key on the piano roll. And by selecting the low key and high key, the sample is controlled to play at that specific key. Now the other keys does not play the sample. One of the good reasons to use the PCM synth machine for loop samples is controlling the playback time. Here, we can see this sample is 8 bars long. And if you only need the first four bars to sound, you can simply set the mode for this specific sample to note, on, and off. To understand more about this, let's add another sample. As you can see, this riser effect is a bit longer than 8 bars, and does not sync with the tempo. We can simply sync the tempo in the wave editor. But, we will just set the mode to on and off. Here, it shows us which samples is being modified. And, there we have it. In the PCM synth, we can pan either left or right. We can increase or decrease the tune of each samples. We can also set the starting point for each sample. Here is the vocoder sample. By moving the red marker, we can choose at what part the sample could end. At the green marker for the starting point. The little arrows you see here are the direction of which your sample or it will be played. Here, on this side, you can add an overall effect to the samples. And here, you have just the attack, decay, sustain, and release of the filter effect. By clicking on this little display, you can control the LFO, pitch, volume, and cutoff of the samples. Just remember, this is for all the samples. Here, 
here, you can change the octave, semitone, and sense. And these, knobs, are the control knobs, for the volume envelope of the samples. Now let's look at the beatbox machine. Now the beatbox can only hold, 8 samples. Whether it be loops, one-shot samples or, your recordings. You can select your presets here. Load one sample from a preset here. And add your own by clicking here. So let's add some random samples. A great reason to use Beatbox Machine for samples is the control you can add to the samples. Here we can control or automate the tune for each. And we can increase or decrease the punch, which is also the attack, and the increase or decrease the decay. We can also position where we want our sample to be coming from, by panning either left or right. And of course, the volume of each sample. But, unlike the PCM synth machine, we cannot control the playback time. And it's easier and quicker, to position our samples in here. The beatbox is more like a drum pad machine. You can load all your 8 samples, and record a drum pattern in real time on this interface if you're on a touchscreen device. Unlike the PCM synth, you can mute individual samples in your pattern, and also create that rising snare and kick. Here is a build up I made. <laughs> If you need to understand more, you can check the official Caustic App YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.